Good afternoon, Thursday the 7th of April 2022 and I'm looking back towards Belfast Harbour Marina and this is the Nomadic, good to see folks on board checking her out and this is the Titanic Exhibition Centre and there's something uh, very interesting being displayed for the next fortnight on uh, in uh, the Titanic Exhibition Centre. I'm in the main uh, gallery, the uh, entrance gallery uh, of the Titanic exhibition and this is one of the last six remaining uh, life jackets from the Titanic. Three and a half thousand life belts were on board, only six remain. And this one was picked up by the cable ship McKay Bennett. Uh, that was one of four ships um, chartered by the White Star Line to search for bodies in the aftermath of the, the Titanic sinking in 1912. And there's an interesting fact. Joseph Astor announced $100,000 reward for the ship recovering the body of his father, John Ichabaster, the fourth Titanic's wealthiest passenger. And there he is. After a seven day recovery operation, the CS Mackey Bennett recovered 306 bodies out of the 1,500 who, uh, approximate 1,500 who actually perished. 116 were buried at sea and of this number only 56 were identified. Among the bodies found were the aforementioned J.J. Astor as well as fellow first class passenger Isidore Strauss, politician and co-owner of Macy's department store. The life back jacket on display was recovered from the, a body in the field of debris by Robert Edwards, quartermaster of the CS Mackie Bennett. Unfortunately, no records exist of who made the who the were was, but it is thought to be one of the only six remaining in the world. Now on display in Titanic uh, Belfast, this is the first time the life jacket has been seen on on public display anywhere on the island of Ireland. And there's the uh, Mackay. Bennett, uh, it was a cable laying uh, ship. So I'm actually in the Grand Atrium, and this uh, display will be on here until the 24th of April. This life jacket was made by Fosbury and Co Limited, manufacturer of life jackets or life saving devices for uh, for the White Star Line. It's now 110 years old, it's made of linen and cork. The life jacket is in fair condition, showing typical characteristic signs of age, with thrust spots in places and missing two cork locks on one side. It's all the original ribbons though some have been cut short. Robert Edward, quartermaster of the cable laying ship Mackay Bennett, recovered the life jacket from Titanic debris field in 1912. Edward's daughter Anita inherited the jacket and it subsequently went on loan to Dartmouth Heritage Museum in Nova Scotia in 1969. Following several international public displays, it made its way back to the UK from Canada for, via 
numerous private collectors. But being here um, marks the 110th anniversary of um, Titanic's sinking. And as you can see, as I'm panning around, the uh, Titanic exhibition is going great guns. Back from the dead almost, after Covid shut everything down. And this uh, talks about the evolution of the life jacket. Titanic carried more than enough life jackets for the passengers and crew, although used as a life-saving device, the ja life jackets on board were actually one of the leading causes of death. Isn't that amazing? Due to the dense material used, jumping overboard from three metres or higher increased the risk of the wearer breaking their neck upon impact with the water. I mean, this is unbelievable. Cork-filled life jackets were standard issued in 1912, however. But after the Titanic sinking, it was evident a review was essential. The tragedy spurred a multitude of changes to avoid uh, history repeating itself. Ships were redesigned for better safety with uh, higher bulkheads and double hulls. It became law that ships should carry enough lifeboats for everyone on board, and lifeboat drills became mandatory. And I'm just flabbergasted because this, this is a remaining artifact, one of the last of six life jackets off the Titanic. I mean, people, people, are, people are wandering around here and they're not even giving it a second glance. This, this, is, this is authentic, this is real. <laughs> I just can't believe this. Uh, uh, five or six people have stopped by this. Um, I don't know why I have been here, but, but you know, nobody else. That's, that's unbelievable. And they're all wanting to see the, the exhibition, but what better artifact than this? This is real history. This is authentic. This was taken from the water. Some poor soul tried to save themselves using this. My goodness. People aren't even people aren't even noticing this. <laughs> they think they think it's just a, a of no consequences because they don't have to pay to see it. Boy, people are fickle. Anyway, come and check it out in the next two weeks for yourself.